big news for the women's basketball program. Point guard Haley Steed's been trying to decide whether to wrap up her BYU career or return for a seventh season. Haley's in our studio tonight to talk about her big decision, which is? Come back and play. Why not Why play not? a seventh season? It's just a, it's a great opportunity for me to come back and finish up. And, you know, once your college career is over, it's over forever. And you never play at that same high level ever again. So I think I still love the game. And I love going to practice every day and competing. And I'm so excited to come back and play last year. Well, you already have your degree. Um, and, uh, and you've done a lot of things already as a, as a student athlete. So what went into the decision outside of this chance to just keep going and when did you tell your coach? Well I told Juddy a week ago today and I think a big part of my decision was one just kind of sitting down with my husband and deciding what was best for us and he was really supportive um, wanted me to come back and play as long as I still loved it and wanted to and you know I think the team's gonna be really good next year and I think we have an opportunity to do some some good things well folks listening to this interview might be going did i hear that right a seventh season for a college athlete how does that even happen how, how are you getting number seven um well i for those who don't know i tore my acl three years in a row my first three years here at byu and all three of them happened early enough in the season that i wasn't able to compete and i, I guess the ncaa looks at that and says you know she didn't have those three seasons and you have to kind of have a special appeal from the, the athletic trainers, send it to the NCAA, and they review it, and they were kind enough to grant me my years back. If you're the head coach and you get your point guard back for a seventh year, that transforms the, the outlook for an entire season. When you look at the Cougars coming back, including 6'7", Jennifer Hampson, you have Lexi uh, Eaton, you have uh, Kim Parker, you have a lot of talent coming back, and you took this team to the big dance this year, where can you go? Uh, sky's the limit for the team next year, I think. Like you said, Jen coming back with two years of experience. I think she showed what she can do on a national stage um, in the NCAA tournament this year. Lexi, who had an incredible freshman year, she'll come back and, and be great next year. And like you said, Kim, who's now a veteran. And, you know, fill in those gaps with just the young players who've been working hard all season. And, and I really, um, I'm excited about the possibilities for next year. Do you think during timeouts that you'll just be able to say, hey, coach, I got this, and then you just coach the team? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> Juddy, I love Juddy, and we have so much respect for each other that there is a lot of conversation between the two of us, but I think that we think so much on the same page. And like I said, it's just kind of a trust relationship. And so, I don't know. Hopefully I can step in and, and be a good leader and kind of take those coaching opportunities when they, when they come. But... We already have the Magnificent Seven, but how about a Magnificent Seventh? <laughs> Hopefully, that's what we can call it next year. It'll be fun to watch you here on BYU TV. Congratulations. Thank you. Welcome back. Thank you. You're number seven.